It's time for a Saturday stroll around the Magic Kingdom. Hey everyone, it's Herb from World Walt, and welcome to another live broadcast on a beautiful and sunny Saturday morning here from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. We are here at the Magic Kingdom, and we're going to check out what's going on inside the Magic Kingdom Railroad train station, looking beautiful, nicely restored, as Disney has been taking advantage of the time when the railroad is down to get everything up and looking good. Uh, can't wait until the railroad comes back. I'm very hopeful that might happen by the end of the year. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Lisa, Rachel, good morning. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom and happy Saturday to you. Neil has joined as well. Thanks for being here. So we are going to enter beneath the train station and take a little walk right down the middle of Main Street, USA. We're going to leave today and enter the world of tomorrow, yesterday, and fantasy. Debbie from Alabama, hello to you, and Lenny, good morning, welcome. Robin from Madison, Wisconsin, hoping you're having some good weather there. We're having some beautiful weather here, about 80 degrees, gonna get up to 89, it's gonna be a warm day today, that is for sure. But it's bright and sunny. Humidity is creeping up as the weeks go by, but still not too bad. Keith said, didn't get a Facebook notification today. Keith, sorry about that. Facebook is a mystery sometimes. It's always hard to know. Elmer says, wearing the Exit Through the Gift Shop shirt. Elmer, thank you for that. I appreciate your support. I'm glad you like that design. I actually have another one I'm going to be sharing today, so stay tuned. That is on the way. Karen says, cast members are amazing. Karen, you are right. It takes people to make the magic happen. Nilda, hello to you. And Jane, good morning. Says, have a wonderful Magic Kingdom day. I am looking forward to it. So we've got some uh, folks lined up here with a photo pass photographer getting their pictures taken with Roy O. Disney and Minnie Mouse. Uh, this bench, which pays tribute to Walt's brother, Roy, who came out of retirement after Walt's passing and made sure that the Magic Kingdom was seen through to completion, something that was not a given back then. Uh, Roy definitely deserves a place of honor in this park and in company history. Trish, hello to you, says, loves the walks. Thank you so much for being here. And Lisa from Massachusetts, good morning to you. It's time to take a little walk right down the middle of Main Street, USA. One of the best views on the planet, in my humble opinion. All these folks streaming in and getting ready for their great day. Andrea says, favorite street to forget her troubles. I agree with you on that. Green, hello to you. 52 degrees in Edison, New Jersey. We got you beat by about 30, 80 degrees here today. Laura from Arizona, hello to you. Okay, Tiffany says the Disney depression is setting in after leaving and uh, getting ready to start a next trip. You know, that is one of the best antidotes for a post-Disney vacation blues. Start working on your next trip or tune into Facebook Live and World of Walt on Saturday mornings. So that works too. Karen says thanks for everything that we do. Thank you, Karen. It's my pleasure. I appreciate your being here and joining me. So my plan is to stroll right down the middle of Main Street, USA. We'll take a little peek at the castle, which is looking good these days. And I'm planning to head over and do two things, depending on the lines. Number one is take a little twirl on and add teacups. The wait time was just five, 10 minutes when I started up the broadcast, so that's good. And then I'm gonna head over to one of my favorites, something I like to do almost every visit to the Magic Kingdom, which is the Tomorrowland People Mover. Good chance to take a peek into the Tron construction area. Dwayne, hello to you, and Bonnie, good morning. Bonnie's gonna go to see Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, and actually, I'm going to try something that's relatively new for me with Facebook Live. I'm gonna to try to put a poll. Let's see if I can get the technology to work. All right, so let's give it a go. Okay, so hopefully I launched a new poll here. It doesn't have to do with the Magic Kingdom, but it does have to do with some of the big news uh, this past week, which is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I had a chance to check it out personally as part of an immediate preview, thanks to the nice folks at Disney Media Relations. Uh, and hopefully there's a poll out there right now for you to, to join in on, uh, on whether or not you are going to be going on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Is it something for you? Uh, it is a great coaster. Uh, I think Disney's term is a family thrill coaster. Uh, I would say it's probably at the level of uh, Seven Dwarfs, maybe a little more towards um, Expedition Everest because of the backwards component, or yeah, it feels like a backwards component. Um, not as intense as Rock and Roller Coaster. So uh, 
I think the game, or I think the attraction is a game changer. It is visually stunning. Uh, the sensations you have while traveling forward but being directed to the side in the ride vehicle, uh, very amazing. So definitely recommend you check it out if you are one who can stomach roller coasters. Um, I did hear a few people say, you know, they went on it once and wouldn't go on it immediately again. They would definitely enjoy the experience again, just not right away because it is... It's a pretty thrilling ride. It is a pretty thrilling ride. So love to hear your thoughts. Tim Peterson, hello, got a chilly day in central PA. So let's see, it looks like 354 people have voted in the Guardians of the Galaxy poll. Uh, it would be very cool if I could see what you were voting for, but I don't know that I could see that. Anyway, I'll see if I can check that out afterwards. Joyce, hello to you. Janice, uh, next month for the Special Olympics and 40th wedding anniversary. Wow, those are two great things. So congratulations on 40 years. All right, statues, the statue here, the partner statue of Walt and Mickey, looking good as always. So now is probably a good time to announce a couple things. Uh, one is, what is the word for this week? So. Um, if you haven't played, I invite you to play World of Walt Fun. World of Walt Fun is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. Um, if, uh, if you haven't joined yet, you can do or you do so, or you can claim some points today just for watching. Just text the word BIG, B-I-G, to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word BIG, 407-606-6780, and you can win some points just for watching today in World of Walt Fun. Giving away great stuff, trading pins, shirts, merchandise, gift cards, tickets, all kinds of great things. Thanks to everyone who's been playing. It's been a lot of fun. I also have a new shirt to share with you, and I'll be uh, telling you more information about that in a few minutes. And Tim is prompting, as he is so wanted to do, the first of what could be many shameless plugs for the Pin of the Month Club. If you want to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Velvet's on her way over to Epcot. A lot of excitement in Epcot these days with pass holder previews coming up for Guardians of the Galaxy and opening in just a couple weeks. Lindsay, it is Lindsay's birthday today. Lindsay, happy birthday to you. I hope this next year for you is a wonderful one and I hope that um, you have a great day. Happy birthday. Ed's on his way to, I think, the Magic Kingdom. Sorry, that went by too fast. Heather says, loves the trivia on Wednesdays, helps to get over the midweek hump. Thank you for that. Thanks for playing World of Walt Fun. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been a part of it. It's a lot of fun putting it together. Uh, we've got a lot of folks who've been saying they've been enjoying it. Susan's here. Good morning to you, Susan. And Dave, hello to you in Sarasota. How's it going? Edward's going to be here at the beginning of June. Kaz is here from Utah. Hi, Kaz. I like your name. That's very cool. Susan, Stacy, good morning. All right, always good to take just a moment. Uh, Jeffrey said, thought about a World of Walt Fun leaderboard. Uh, that is something I have thought about. It is on the list for someday. That's not a promise, uh, but it is an idea that a number of people have suggested. I think it's a very cool idea, uh, so looking forward to that. Debbie got five points for print playing World of Walt Fun. Debbie, thank you for that. Carol says she's got cold and rain. Happy to send a little bit of Florida sunshine your way. Linda, good morning to you. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Always exciting hearing all the different places uh, from which people are joining. Samantha says, loves the music, can almost smell Main Street, USA. Smell of popcorn. Oh, you walk by Casey's, you might get a whiff of hot dog. Uh, some of the flowers that are in bloom. Uh, treat for all of these sensations. Tim says he's been looking for Disney-inspired shirts and pins. Tim, have I got a deal for you? I might even be able to put a link up if uh, technology cooperates. We'll see. Well, let's give it a try here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're seeing a link to worldofwaltstore.com. And actually, I might as well go ahead and announce today's shirt. Uh, so, inspired by the recent... Um, recent additions in Epcot and Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. I thought it would be fun to kind of play on that. Uh, you know from the movie, it's all about cooking. And now you can get a shirt which pays homage to that with a design that says, you can cook. 
which kind of has a Remy-inspired look to it. I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed putting this design together. And you can get it on a shirt, whoops, a mug, whatever. Uh, you can uh, do that over at worldofwaltstore.com. Depending on your device and technology's finickiness, you may be getting a link to that right now. So worldofwaltstore.com can take you to both a t-shirt shop as well as to Pen of the Month Club. And uh, you can check out this new design just launched today, um, which is available on sale. You can cook if you're a Remy fan, if you're a cook, or if you know someone who is. This design may just be for you. So thanks to everybody who has made purchases in the past. I appreciate that. Dawn said it worked. Awesome. I love it when technology decides to cooperate. It does not happen all the time. Hey, John, how's it going? Let's head right through the castle. Pamela from Michigan, hello to you, and welcome to the live broadcast. Good to see you. Gary is here as well. Jason has got a late June, early July trip. It's going to be here before you know it. The months are just flying by in this year. I think as each year passes, um, they go a little bit more quickly. Michelle likes the, sheet, the shirt idea. Michelle, thank you for that. He said it. the shirt is missing the World of Wall brand on it. Uh, thanks for that. I actually do need to make sure that World of Wall is listed on all the shirts. Some I, I have put it on there, uh, some I haven't, but people do ask about that. Sandy says it's cute. Sandy, thank you for that. Thanks to everyone who has checked it out. Peggy's a chef and loves the new shirt. Peggy, that is awesome. That makes me uh, happy. Marie says it's a cute design as well. Alan, hello to you. Welcome. And Thomas says, which ship am I going on at the cruise in August? Ah, uh, boy, I think it is the Fantasy. Eh, not sure. It's a seven-day cruise out of Port Canaveral, uh, late August. I should know the answer to this question, but I don't. I kind of made the reservation. I have been paying for the reservation, uh, but have not yet uh, committed to memory which ship it is. It is not the new ship. Uh, it is not the Wish. Mary, hello to you. And Marie, how's it going? All right, a lot of people here in Fantasyland. We're going to hang a right, head over to the Mad Tea Party, and as long as the wait time is still in that 5, 10, maybe posted 15 minutes, uh, we'll go on it. Dory's asking if she heard the train. Dory, I heard that too. I suspect that that is the Lily Bell, the, the steamboat over in Liberty Square. Uh, that said, I have heard that Disney is starting to do some testing of the track for the Walt Disney World Railroad. The Walt Disney World Railroad is not open. Uh, it's actually not even complete because the section over by Tron is still under construction. Uh, but a lot of it is done. The train stations are looking great. And I'm hoping that the railroad's going to be coming back. It's not imminent uh, because there's still track to be put down. But it's going to be here. Debbie's going to the Outer Banks. Debbie, hope you have a good day there. Nice place to visit. Natalie from the UK. Natalie, thank you so much for visiting Disney on Facebook Live with me. So it's always much fun to check out where people are. Ted's voting for the Jungle Cruise. I'm not headed in the right direction for that. And actually, I don't know what the wait time looks like. I kind of made my choice based on wait times because of batteries and, well, it's fun to talk, but maybe not so exciting to watch a long wait. Thank you. Sometimes, though, got to do some of that. Keith, 50 degrees Fahrenheit in Maryland. Happy to send you a plus 30 degrees up to 80 here in Florida. Nice day. Morgan was here two weeks ago. I hope you had a good trip. The best antidote for the Disney Blues. Watch a World of Wealth Facebook Live broadcast. You can also start planning your next trip. Kathy, it's the opening day of Little League in New York. Spring has sprung. That is great. All right, wait by standby entrance time is lifted. It's five minutes. The line doesn't look too big, so we're going to go ahead and take it. it. Give us a chance to chat a little bit. Heather's a big fan of the music. I love the music around the Magic Kingdom and around all the Disney parks. It's something that they do especially well. Uh, speaking of music, when I had a chance to check out Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, there is some groovy music there. Um, and actually, each ride uh, can have a different song. I think there's a playlist of about six different songs. You get one on each ride. 
Uh, you don't know which one you're going to get until you're actually in the coaster and about, I don't know, a third of the way in. Um, but it's very cool. Songs like uh, September, like Tonga from Gloria Estefan. Uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which I think is uh, great for that particular attraction. So I can't wait for people to start checking out Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Uh, actually, I'll put up another poll here if I can. Let's see. Um, I, well, I guess I already did the Guardians poll. I'll wait for the next one. Dustin, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. I agree with you. Uh, thank you for all that you do. It is a sometimes trying, but I'm, I'm sure a rewarding job. I feel that way as a dad. So thanks to all the moms out there. Susan, last time was here was in the crowd. Definitely a lot of people here today. Kathy's coming in September. That is great. Wow. Sorry I missed the name, but somebody's going to be getting 100 degrees in Texas. That is crazy. We're going to be into the upper 80s. We're going to be 40 to 90 here today, but not up to 100. Morgan is planning our next trip. Good job, Morgan. Barbara said, Tom Sawyer Island. That is a good idea. Actually, I have not done that in a long time. Jeff says, thanks for the Saturday broadcast. Jeff, you are welcome. Looks like we will be on the next set of teacups. Uh, Lorna and Elmer are responding with the word of the day for World of Wealth Fun. World of Wealth Fun is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize runs. The more points you have, the better your chance of winning. Giving away great stuff, pins, merchandise, shirts, uh, gift cards, tickets. You can get points just for watching today or sign up if you haven't yet. Just text the word BIG to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word BIG to 407-606-6780. Sometimes it can take a minute for the the, the link to come back, so be patient. Bonnie says it's crowded. You know, it, it does kind of have a crowded feel to it, but I have to say the fact that there was only a five-minute wait for the teacups um, yeah, is a good thing. All right. Got an ice cream one. Morgan says, love the run. Debbie says, World of Wild Fun is a great game. Debbie, thank you for that. I appreciate your playing. It's been a blast doing it. Uh, Tammy says she's going to get dizzy. <laughs> Hang in there, Tammy. Wow, Tanny says 106 degrees in San Angelo, Texas. That is brutal. Wow, especially for May, that's craziness. Lori said could watch the videos all day long. Lori, thank you so much, that's really kind of you. Oh yeah, Reen is suggesting Country Bear Jamboree, great idea. Um, I have been to Country Bear Jamboree not too long ago. Susan says she's got some warm weather in South Florida. All right, here we go. I am one who likes to spin my cup in addition to the general spinning. So let's go. Let's get dizzy. Brother sick on the teacups, that's funny.
All right. Let's see if I'm dizzy. I think I'm okay. And we're out. All right, that was fun. Fun to take a little spin on a teacup. You can hear the sounds of the Tomorrowland Speedway over there. Debbie says has to close her eyes while spinning. Susan is doing some wheeze in there. That's fun. <laughs> Jeff saying, just keep spinning. I like that. There's like a clash of a Dory meets teacup. All right, we're going to take a little stroll around Tomorrowland, uh, especially to get a view of what's happening with a Tron coaster. So as best I can tell, the new canopy that's uh, put in place, you can see that white marshmallow over there, it looks complete, very interesting design. Um, especially at night, that's going to bring a lot of color and motion to Tomorrowland. Can't wait for that. Raju, hello to you. Thanks for being here. John says he's more of a people mover kind of guy. John, I love the people mover. I always have. Jeff's got 20 days to go. Patricia says she missed the secret word. Patricia, I can hook you up. Patricia's talking about World of Wealth Fun, a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings, giving away great stuff. Pins, shirts, merchandise, gift cards, tickets, and you can get some points. The more points you've got, the better your chance of winning. Just for watching today, you can claim some points. Just text the word BIG, B-I-G, to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word BIG, 407-606-6780, and you can claim your points in World of Wealth Fun, a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. If you haven't yet signed up for World of Wealth Fun, that process will get you hooked up. Sometimes, uh, based on demand on the systems, it can take a minute or two for the link to come back after you send in the word via text. So hang in there and be patient. Debbie says, loves the Remy shirt, so cool. Debbie, thank you for that. She's referring to a brand new shirt just announced today, um, inspired by Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and the recent opening of that attraction in Epcot. Here's a design, it's kind of fun. It says you can cook. If you're a Remy fan, if you're a chef, or if you know someone who is, uh, this might be a fun design for them. You can cook. It's kind of fun. Uh, how do you get it, you might ask? I'm glad you do. Just head over to worldofaltstore.com and you can get that shirt, which is on sale now, brand new design. I might even be able to put a link up here. Uh, let's see if there can be a link. Oh, maybe the link is still going, I don't know. Mitchell's voting for the Wedway People Mover. We are on our way there. Tammy, hello to you. I was actually even thinking about the Astro Blaster if the, the weight isn't too bad. I think I might have time to do both. As long as Astro Blaster is like five or ten minutes, my guess is it's going to be more than that. It usually is. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be too long. Even though that line is not bad at all. Wait time, 35 minutes. No, that's not going to work. HR got her points in World of Wealth Fun. HR, thanks for playing. Thanks to everyone who's been joining me there. Gina says, looks like a Disney day. That it is. It is a beautiful day here. Lisa bought two of the People Mover shirts and love them. Lisa, thanks for that. I really like that design. I conquered the People Mover. Uh, also available at the World of Walt t-shirt shop, which you can access at worldofwaltstore.com. Thanks to everyone for the ideas you've been submitting. Thanks for uh, supporting me and the site through those purchases. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's, your, it's your suggestions that have uh, made all of that happen. Right, it looks like the line is basically non-existent for the people who are. I'm going to take it. Beverly says, great day at the Magic Kingdom. Thank you so much. Patty says, the design is cute, really loves it. Patty, thank you for that. Debbie says, just ordered the new shirt for her husband. Debbie, thank you. Sue says, uh, probably the My Disney Experience app is predicting a 10-minute wait for the People Mover. Interestingly, I have not seen this in quite a while. There is basically no queue wait for this attraction at all. I walked directly onto the speed ramp, which is pretty amazing. Julio, hello to you, and welcome to another World of Wild Facebook Live. Matthew says, daughter... Uh, thinks the new Remy shirt is cool. That is awesome. Thank you. Gina is also a People Mover fan. All right, 
we're going to get a peek into what's happening in the Tron poster construction. Donna says, looks like a great day at Disney. You know, it is a, it is a beautiful day to be here. It's a little windy. I hope I'm not picking up too much wind noise here on the broadcast. 80 degrees, so it's warm. It's going to be hot today. It's going to get up towards 90. Uh, but the humidity isn't crazy. It's a nice day. Annette says, loves the people mover. It is a must ride every time. I've got to say, it's one of those things that I enjoy riding most every time. It's relaxing. You get a nice view. Lots of good stuff. And we are in. Laura says, was here for spring break. Rhonda's a uh, people mover fan. Sue, I agree with you. Sit and relax. Mary Lou says, love the people mover with no line. I often call the people mover the people eater because it's got a huge capacity. You know, when you got to wait for the people mover, uh, this park is busy. But I'm shocked that there was zero wait. I directly walked in. <laughs> Robert says to hold on to my head. Gotcha, Robert. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching, for your comments. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, it's because you're here, because you comment, because you like, because you share, that sometimes I get an opportunity to uh, go to events by the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, including the one this week for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It was a thrill. Happy to share lots of articles and videos over at worldwalt.com. Uh, and again, just thank you for making that possible. It, it's your support that makes that go. So thank you. Paula says, do I have a Yoda shirt? Uh, I do not. I have to be kind of careful, careful about Disney intellectual property. Uh, I do things that are inspired by Disney ideas, uh, but don't look to use actual characters. But maybe I can do something that's inspired by uh, Yoda. This is the way, you know? You never know you might see. See you tomorrow, Lynn. Larry says, teacups and the people mover, two rides in one broadcast. I know that's pretty unusual. I'm very, uh, very thrilled to make that happen today. Karen says, sharing is caring. That it is. Thank you. Jody says, people mover is a rust, must ride and carousel of progress. Oh, I love the carousel of progress. Follow a family through the years, especially Uncle Orville. Lorraine says, looks forward to the broadcast. Thank you for that. I think it's time to see Progress City. And now, tomorrow at Transit Authority, Crowley presents Progress City, Walt Disney's dream for an experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Progress City was the inspiration for Epcot, and many of its forward-thinking ideas have been realized throughout Walt Disney World. Progress City, the model for Epcot. If your future includes shopping, then you'll want to visit Star Traders, where you'll find the greatest goods from around the galaxy. Donna says there's no place Put like home. to the metal and speed towards the checkered flag in your very own race car. All right, I think we're going to get a nice view of Tron. Don says, thanks for sharing, Disney. Don, it is my pleasure. All right. Disney has been doing a lot of work recently on the Tron coaster. Amazing progress that the canopy looks like it is done or nearly done, at least the exterior elements. You can see, even today, there are people out here working on a Saturday. Uh, Disney has been, yeah, working hard to make a lot of progress on this attraction. I think it's very cool that we get a peek into it. I cannot wait for it to open. This was an exciting week for new openings at Disney with Guardians of the Galaxy preview. Welcome to Space Mountain. One of the real wonders of our world, Space Mountain. Blast off on a high-speed outer space adventure and complete through the cosmos.
Okay, launching a new poll here about the new Communicorn. We got some concept art this week about this new World Celebration area at Epcot. Love to hear what you think of the design. Well, we got a bit of a dark moment here. Welcome to Starport 75. Get a little bit of peek down into the exit area. Sandy's coming back for the first time in a few years. I hope you have a great time. And now we get a few moments of the darkness of space here in Space Mountain. Dustin asked if they're going to do another Tron movie. That's a good question. I don't know. Donna asked about the projected opening of Tron Coaster. I don't think we have an official date yet. It does look like they're making great progress. My guess is that they could do this towards the end of the year if they wanted to, based on what you can see on the outside. It's still hard to know what's going on on the inside. Don't know yet. If I were to guess without insider information, I would say end of the year or early next year is possible. While we are in the darkness of space, Susan is asking, what about a shameless plug for the Pit of the Month Club? That's a great idea. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, you can check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Amy Beth says, the polls are terrific. Amy Beth, thank you. We appreciate that. It's kind of fun to be able to share. A brand new feature for me in Facebook. So it looks like people are voting about the new Communicore Hall. Concept art uh, was shared. 81% uh, of the people love it. 18% said prefer the original. That's really interesting. Um, love to get your, your feedback, your comments on that. So yeah, Epcot uh, has released new concept art this week. It was uh, great to bring it to you. It's been posted over at worldofwallet.com. Uh, Communicore Hall and Communicore Plaza are going to be in the World Celebration neighborhood or the Central Spine. Uh, so the new design, very interesting, seems to match the Communicore aesthetic. Satyam, hello to you. Thanks for being here. And Jackie, hello to you. Hop on board the Astro Orbiter. What the wait time looks like for Space Mountain. You take a spin around the planet and ascend to otherworldly heights. Maybe a little hard to see here. Space Mountain standby wait time. 40 minutes, 4-0. Not so bad. Space Mountain is looking good in all of its glory. Bruce said the polls are great ideas. Thank you, Bruce. Mary Lou is asking Inside about the word to say. Mary Lou, thank you for asking. She's referring to World of Wall Fund. World of Wall Fund is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. The more points you've got, the better your chance of winning. I'm giving away great stuff. Pins, shirts, merchandise, gift cards, tickets. And you can get some points just for watching today. Just text the word, whoops. Not the word, whoops. Just text the word BIG to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word BIG to 407-606-6780. And you can claim points just for watching today in World of All Fun. If you haven't yet signed up, this process will get you hooked up. It may take a minute for you to get the link back from the text, so just hang in there. John is a big Epcot fan, me as well. Mia, hello to you. Jamie, good morning. Alice from Georgia, hello to you. Okay, I know I've said this before, one of my favorite hidden Mickeys from all about Disney World. Check it out on the ladies' belt. See the Mickey? Uh, you have to look very carefully. I have peeked down into Buzz Lightyear. Todd says, still misses the great movie ride. Todd, I got you on that one. I can understand why Disney wanted to make the change, especially since so many of the movies were becoming less and less relevant to people who were in the parks. Uh, I am personally a huge fan of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. There is so much going on in that attraction, and you can't take it all in, even on multiple rides. Castle looking beautiful today. Monsters Incorporated. So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated. Debbie said, please show the number again. You got it, Debbie. 
He went to Crater Points in World of Fun, a game where you can win points for entries in the weekly prize drawings. Just text the word BIG, 407-606-6780. Text the word BIG at 407-606-6780. And you can get some points just for watching today. If you haven't yet signed up for World of Wealth Fun, a free game, uh, this will also get you hooked up. Thanks to everyone who's been playing. Thank you for joining us for tomorrow. Andrew. Joey's going to be in the Magic Kingdom on Wednesday. Joey, that is Enjoy great. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Josh, thanks for providing some tech help. Andrea loves the hidden Mickey's Me Too. Ah, oh, Renee finally saw it. Irene, excuse me, finally saw it. John, thanks for much, so much for sharing the word and the number there. <laughs> Joan, always watching. I always tell my daughter that. Always watching, just like Roz. Please keep your arms away from the door. Patricia said, didn't get the spin today. Patricia, sorry about that. Sometimes technology is a little flaky. All right, and we are off. Thank you. Cynthia, hello to you in South Jersey. Hope that you're having a good day. Always fun to see what's going on. So I, I can also say another thing I mentioned about, excuse me, the Tron Coaster construction site is there used to be a lot of material staged in front of the, uh, or outside the building. Um, where they were putting up the canopy, building the girders, uh, probably getting infrastructure ready. And today I really did not see uh, materials being staged. What I saw was earth movers and probably getting the dirt in place. So that's interesting. Ray Ann, hello to you. John says, thanks for the ride, the walkabout. Almost ready for Saturday chores. I've got some Saturday chores waiting for me as well. I know how that goes. Shirt idea, always watching World of Walt. Oh, always, I like that. That's kind of a Roz play. Uh, so people have asked for Where's Herb Saturday shirt, and I can uh, give you a little hint that something in that territory is on the way. So stay tuned, uh, but I should probably share the, a shirt design for today, uh, inspired by Remy's Ratatouille and Remy. Uh, if you enjoy that movie, or if you're a cook, or you know someone who is, check out this new design. It says, you can cook. It's kind of cute, I think, and is inspired by Remy and all things Ratatouille. Uh, you can check it out by heading over to worldofwaltstore.com. It'll get you a link to the t-shirt shop. The shirt is on sale today. And, um, yeah, it's a new design. So I hope you check it out. Thanks to everyone who has done so already a number of people have said they've made purchases so we're going to walk right back over towards um, the castle someone sorry i heard the name said they they heard that kite tales has ended whoa that's not what i meant to do what is that sorry about that i don't know why my gimbal decided it wanted to rotate that was not what my intention was so it is my understanding that kite tales is switching from shows which are presented at, at specific times to more of an ongoing process, kind of like background art that's going to happen. Uh, so I think Kite Tales is not going away, but the concept of fixed show times where you sit down for a 15 minute presentation, that is. Um, so Kite Tales, I, I really like a lot. I mean, it's kind of fun. It brings some color. It brings some activity to that back corner of the park. Uh, it's, it's something that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's colorful. It's got keep good music. Uh, Mary Lou likes the Remy t-shirt. Mary Lou, thank you for that. Thank you for watching today. Uh, another Mary Lou saying, where in the world is Herb? Yes, people are getting the idea. Karen said she did not get a chance to see Kite Tales. I did a broadcast of it. Uh, you can go over to YouTube, do a search for World of Walt and Kite Tales. You can see a video. I think you're still going to get the essence of what it was all about. I think you're just not going to get it as a time to sit down show but the whole idea is basically heights color disney music it's fun denise says she wishes she were here denise i'm happy to bring you a little bit of disney fun patty says uh 
world is Herb is going to be cool. Yeah, stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be several weeks before that shirt comes out. Give everyone a chance to check out the You Can Cook shirt. Karen said she liked kite tails. Me too. I think it's a lot of fun. Susan says thank you. Susan, you are welcome. I always appreciate your being here. Nice view of Cinderella Castle over here. Hi, Jack. How's it going? Thank you for being here. Karen says, thanks for the video of Kite Tales. Karen, you are welcome. Julia shared the video and received her points at World of All Fun. Julia, thanks so much for sharing the video. It's one of the best ways to get the word out. You have my appreciation. I uh, also claimed her points in World of Wild Fun, so if you have not yet heard me say it many, many times, World of Wild Fun is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings, giving away great stuff, shirts, pins, merchandise, gift cards, tickets, and you can get some points just for watching today. Uh, if you haven't signed up, this process will get you hooked up. Uh, it's kind of windy, but we'll see if I can get this. Okay, there you go. All you have to do is text the word BIG to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word BIG to 407 407- 606-6780 and you too can claim some points just for watching today in World of Wild Fun where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings every single week somebody's getting something uh, it's something I do most Sunday evenings sometimes on Mondays I ship out a prize which is a lot of fun uh, if you win I will notify you and your prize will be on the way no cost to play you just need a phone well you need a modern phone if your phone has a rotary dial on it eh, not gonna work you need a phone and Facebook basically which these days, most people have got. Not everyone, I understand. Wendy says, loves the Remy shirt. Simple but meaningful. From Stormy Jersey Shore. I hope you are okay and safe. We have a beautiful day here in the Magic Kingdom. Just uh, mid-80s. Yeah, probably low mid-80s. Really nice day. Tom says, how long has the Tomorrowland sign been over the arch? Uh, you know, I do remember that came out probably in the past several years. I know that that's... It's a relatively new addition. Uh, you know, when I first saw it, I wasn't really quite so sure what I thought, but it has grown on me. I do like the aesthetic of it. I think it probably fits in with the direction that Tomorrowland is going, as you can see with the addition of the Tron canopy. So it's good. I like it. Ryan, hello to you and good morning. Thanks for joining me here at the Magic Kingdom. As to like we took a stroll right down the middle of Main Street, USA on the way in, we we're going to do the same on the way out. Susan got some points for playing World of Wild Fun. Susan, thank you for that. All right, partner statue, often photographed. Looks good. Lisa says the walk around makes her 60 day wait a little bit easier. Lisa, glad to hear that. I appreciate your being here. All right. We will continue our stroll right down the middle of Main Street, USA. Lots of people still making their way into the park. I'd love to hear the music of Main Street. For some reason, a comment seemed to have stopped. Perhaps the video has stopped as well. Technology is flaky sometimes. So that may be my cue to wrap it up for today. Thank you everyone for joining me on another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Thanks for spending some of your time with me in the Magic Kingdom. I hope you have a great Saturday. And until next time, God bless.